Hello Hatsus and welcome back to my channel. I am Funko Hatter4479. Um, so most people will know me as a person that seems to review um, Funko's products like um, Fun uh, the Cos Babies, the Funko's himself, the soda cans, the giant pops and stuff like that. Um, what most of you don't know is he's playing a wrestling fan. Um, as you can just tell from my t-shirt I made here. Um, and my hat that I made. Um, I like wrestling. Um, uh, this is something I grew up liking and I've always watched it's something that I've always wanted to uh, always wanted to watch. I don't know why, it's just I always have. And uh, over the last couple of years, maybe four years, um, I started following AEW and uh, it's a new company. Um, it's got a lot of the WWE superstars there and it's got a lot of like up and coming superstars and um, yeah, so and it's it's an all right company, you know, run by a man that owns lots of sports clubs like the Jags. I believe he owns Fulham as well. Uh, Tony Khan, and maybe he could run the company better. But just because you've got loads of money doesn't mean you can buy a wrestling company. And you can control what goes on in there but that's just the way it is but what I'm going to do is show you something that I picked up from B&M which I have been looking for for a very long time because I generally feel like this guy is at the top of his game he is the he's the pinnacle of what a hill is you know he He's the guy that, of this century, that people love to hate, but also like. Like The Miz, who you like, you love to hate as well. And I'm talking about none other than, um, where is he going? There is, there is, okay. None other than uh, MJF. Uh, I picked this up, this is Maxwell Jacob Freeman. Um, and um, I really like this one. Um, there, there are like six other people you can get to go along with this one, which is Jericho, Jake Hager, which I don't know why you want Jake Hager in the first place, MJF. Um, sort of, uh, I can't even say her name. Uh, you got Pentagon and you got Phoenix. And uh, I just show the back. <laughs> See the back. Um, the only thing I find annoying about this figure is, is there's no scarf. And you know, N MJF is known for his scarf. And there's a scarf on there, and a scarf on the back, but there's no scarf. This is the. Um, this is the actual. Apparently, the uh, the the. Uh, Excuse me, my wife's not coming out. Uh, double or nothing, what he wore. Um, he had a really good sort of thing going with CM Punk and it was great. Um, I'm not going to be opening this because I like to keep my figures in the boxes and that's just because I don't collect lots of figures but I collect certain ones that go in to try and enjoy. And MJF is up there with. Uh, I think I've got up there Derby and Orange Cassie, and uh, they're all up there because I I, I like like them and I, I I want to get hold of the Sting one as well, but yeah, and this is a season six, so and there's so there's a lot, quite a lot of seasons, so yeah, I thought I'd just share this with everyone because uh, I can put, I'll put a picture up here so you can see what Junior looks like, but I do not want to unbox him and but he generally looks like him and um, 
that's a, quite a, quite an impressive figure and uh, yeah so uh, please guys comment down below who is your favorite sort of villain heel bad guy of the rest of the industry um, you know it doesn't have to be uh, anyone from AEW, it can be anyone from um, WWE, whoever. Um, quite recently, Bray Wyatt came back and he was awesome. So, yeah. So, uh, drop a comment down and let me know. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this again. Um, so, please like, share, comment. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube, subscribe if you uh, haven't subscribed to my Instagram subscribe to that and uh, remember we all collect it